And big breaking news coming in, ladies and gentlemen. There's more trouble for DMK Minister K. Pon Muri, who's under the ED scanner. Now, 70 lakh rupees in unaccounted cash has been found from the residence of the DMK minister. Some foreign currency has been found as well, majorly British pounds. Currently, the counting is being done as the ED raids are underway. That's the big piece of breaking news that's coming in. More trouble for the DMK, ladies and gentlemen, as 70 lakh rupees in unaccounted cash has been found from the residence of DMK Minister K. Pon Muri. Some foreign currency has been found as well, majorly British pounds. Currently, the counting is being done. That's the piece of break news that's coming in as the ED raids uh, K. Pon Muri, uh, the DMK Minister. Now, 70 lakhs in unaccounted cash has been found from the residence of the DMK Minister. And some of that is foreign currency, ladies and gentlemen, with majorly British pounds. Currently, the counting is being done by the officers of the Enforcement Directorate as the raids are underway. But there is more trouble when it comes to the optics surrounding this entire case as 70 lakhs in unaccounted cash has been found from the residence of the DMK minister. I'm joined by my colleague Ashish Maharishi who's getting us this piece of breaking news. Ashish, give us the details. So, you know, as we know that Pamuli was searched by the Enforcement Directorate since the morning. Uh, what we have learned from our sources is that 70 lakh rupees uh, have been found in cash. Now, interestingly, what my sources in the enforcement directorate tell me that K. Panamuri has not been able to give explanation on from where he get this cash and uh, whether it was basically uh, that money was accounted for or not. So what we have been told by our sources is that this is absolutely unaccounted cash. Secondly, they have found huge amounts of foreign currency as well, which is being counted. Majorly, this foreign currency is in British pounds, so they're still taking time to find out what is the, abs uh, you know, the absolute valuation of that, of that uh, foreign currency in Indian rupee, but it is being counted as of now. Thirdly, there is huge amount of gold that has been found, but again, uh, whether it is accounted for or not accounted for, that is being checked by the enforcement directorate. But certainly a big setback for the DMK because this is another the second minister who has come under the investigation of the enforcement directorate. We know Sensel Balaji had cases had, had faced heat in the past, and now we are seeing Cape uh, uh, Pon Moody facing the heat of enforcement directorate. Right, and Ashish, this case is related to the illegal allotment of mines when Pon Moody was the mines minister. Take us to the modus operandi and the kind of case that the ED is trying to crack over here. So, what we have been told is that. Uh, you know, the enforcement directorate is basically looking at a case which was basically registered by the state government, the state police. Now, this was in previous DMK regime. At that point in time, K. Panamudi basically occupied the position of the mines and mineral minister. Now, interestingly, during his tenure, only five mines were allocated. And these five mines basically either went to his son, his close relatives, or a Benami. Then, you know, in fact, you know, at that point in time, he was even arrested by the state the state police, and he was basically out on a bail. The enforcement directorate took cognizance of that FIR, registered an ECIR, and got into whether that whether K. Panamudi and his family members and relatives was benefited the proceeds of crime or not. So what they have found till now is that the proceeds of crime can be uh, you know can be more than 50 crore. That is what the enforcement directorate tells me. So certainly, you know, a big setback for the sitting DNK minister, uh, as such, is still continue, and 70 lakh rupees of unexplained un tax in some foreign Right, I'm also joined by Purnima Murli on the broadcast. Purnima, a huge setback for the DMK, another minister under the ED scanner. Now, as per ED sources, 70 lakh in unaccounted cash found from his residence. Absolutely. Uh, it's a setback of sorts for the ruling DMK, especially at a time when the DMK continues to maintain that the raids on the minister is a uh, political vendetta, nothing but only political vendetta. And also a strong statement coming uh, in from DMK President MK Stalin saying that the people are watching, people know the truth and that they will teach the BJP a lesson in 2024 elections and also adding that initially it was a governor who was doing an election campaign of sorts for the party and now with back-to-back -back raids in a span of one month by the ED, they say that ED is also now uh, starting an election campaign and all these will only help the DMK sweep the 2024 polls. While the DMK maintains his stance, sources have confirmed to uh, Ashish that uh, 
seventy uh, lakh rupees have of unaccounted cash uh, have been seized, and uh, this is the residence of. the minister and from 7 am raids are still underway there are officials who are still continuing the searches in fact the cars that were parked uh, inside the residence were also searched uh, there were uh, senior leaders of the dmk including former rajya sabha member who had come here but wasn't allowed uh, dmk maintains its political veneta but raids are still on there will be more clarity once the searches end but from 7 am raids continue here and in virupuram district where eight other places are currently being raided by the ed back to you so that is purnima there reporting from outside k ponmudi's home eight hours of raids by the enforcement directed ladies and gentlemen and as per ed sources 70 lakhs in unaccounted cash primarily foreign currency uh, which is in british pounds has been found uh, at k ponmudi's uh, residence as another dmk minister is under the scanner for corruption the trouble mounts for the dmk but MK Stalin has said that this is pure vendetta politics now let's listen into more reactions coming in BJP ulithudarkaga todandu kootapada kudiya kootam BJP aatchikke mega periya erichalai yerpaduthi irukkirathu indrike uyarkalvi thura amisharaga irukkudiya maanmagu ponmudi avargal illathile அமலாக்கத் துறையின் மூலமாக சோதனை நடத்தப்படுகிறது என்று சொன்னால் இந்த வழக்கை பொறுத்த வரையில அம்மையார் ஜெயலலிதா அவர்கள் முதலமைச்சராக இருந்தபோது புனையப்பட்ட பொய் வழக்கு இந்த வழக்கு ஏறக்குறைய பதிமூணு ஆண்டு காலத்திற்கு முன்பு போடப்பட்ட வழக்கு தொடர்ந்து பத்தாண்டு காலம் அதிமுக தான் ஆட்சியில் இருந்திருக்கிறது அப்பொழுதெல்லாம் இதை பற்றி எந்த முயற்சியிலும் அவர்கள் ஈடுபடவில்லை அண்மையிலே கூட பொன்முடி அவர்கள் மீது சுமத்தப்பட்டிருந்த கடந்த கால ஆட்சியரால் சுமத்தப்பட்டிருந்த இரண்டு வழக்குகளிலிருந்து அவர் விடுதலை செய்யப்பட்டிருக்கிறார் ஆகவே இந்த வழக்கை பொறுத்த வரையில் சட்ட ரீதியாக அதை நிச்சயமாக சந்திப்பார் this will give a negative effect to them see when all the parties are assembling in bangalore tomorrow that will this will become the issue there they will discuss all these things that which is happening in tamil nadu is going to become a national issue therefore it will go against the bjp government already count on for the bjp has started what happened in karnataka dk shivakumar's house was raided by this very same department he was arrested what was the result he won by a margin of 1 lakh 9000 votes so the people are against all these act- activities and the supreme court is also not approved of this act so the heat is on the dmk ladies and gentlemen and the war words is only escalating we'll continue to track all the developments coming in as those ed raids are underway for now